Hello, hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Um, and in today's video, we're gonna do a sit down and talk. We're gonna catch up. Where have I been? What have I been doing? Uh, real quick, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And let's get right into the video. Wonderful. It has been a minute since I have sat in front of a camera and decided to film anything. Um, my last video, I believe, was me and Christian, who is a dear friend of mine and now my roommate in Portland. Um, we were doing arts and crafts and like painting and things like that, which was a really cool video. So go check that out if you haven't um, seen it. Um, but the last time I really kind of sat down and talked about me and what I'm up to, I told everyone that I was moving to Portland. And I did. I am now here in Portland, Oregon, um, living life. Um, and my, 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 has it been a journey. Um, <laughs> um, I've probably been here close to a month now, um, probably like three or four weeks and life has been wild since I first touched down. Um, I of course came up here jobless and looking for a job and did a lot of job interviews and filled out a lot of job applications. Um, got a lot of no's and rejections and a few job offers that didn't feel like they were up to par with what I wanted um, coming here. Um, but I officially found a good job in my opinion. It is definitely a step up from what I've done. I'm in the healthcare field now, I'm salary, I'm a manager, I have a team of people under me. Like. I work, I work in an office, I work at eight to five, you know what I mean? Like it is so different from what I was doing in California. Um, and if you haven't noticed, I cut off the majority of my hair. I'm still long, you know, still the length, but if you know, my hair was probably down to here. Um, and I mean, it's still pretty long, just not like down to here where I'm used to it. And so a lot shorter and curly when I do it up and put like product and stuff in it. And I'm still trying to figure out like how I'm going to wear it and all that kind of stuff. Because I think with shorter hair, it sometimes is a little harder to rock, but I can still put it in a little bun, which you all know is one of my favorite things to do. Boom. It's just shorter, right? Just more um, easy to maintain. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's been different for me. I haven't really felt, um, I guess the word is inspired to do anything or like not do anything, but like, I just haven't felt in like, I just haven't felt like sitting in front of a camera and talking and like talking about my struggles and what I'm going through and all that. And Today, as I cut my hair off, I realized it was a really freeing moment for me because for the past six or seven years, I've been growing my hair and I have had it in my mind that, you know, someone would only want me. I would only feel loved if I had longer hair being more feminine, right? Presenting more feminine like I am. Um, and first of all, this is looking wild. So don't. Don't judge me, okay? We're just gonna put it in a bun and call it a day for right now. And I mean, I have to get used to this length, right? Because look, if you know, my hair was way longer. My hair used to be like down to here, but it was time, it was dead ends. It was time to like cut the roots. It was time to like get it off. Just get it off and let myself regrow, you know? And my hair will regrow with me. Um, and it was just a beautiful moment to really realize that, but I don't know. I don't know where YouTube is going to go for me. I don't know like what uploading is going to look like for me. Um, uh, I still love YouTube. I love the idea of putting my life out there, but I have to realize what my life is here now and what that's going to look like. Um, so I just wanted to share that, you know, because... I've been growing this channel for many, many years and gotten it to where I've gotten it to. And I don't want to forget it and I don't want to like stop doing it, but I have to figure out 
what inspires me to continue doing it and what what's gonna inspire me to keep going, right? With doing YouTube. Um, and I really haven't opened up about why I moved to Portland or, you know, what brought me here and all that just yet. And I'm working on a video to do like what that will look like and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it, it's been a journey, but it's been a good journey. And I am excited to see where the road takes me. Um, I had a little emotional moment after coming back from the barber. Um, and here's that clip. Hello, hi everyone. Um, today I decided to cut a lot of my hair off. And, um, it was a really freeing moment. Um, It, it just is so funny how much you will tie something to yourself to make you feel like that's what you have to do in order to be something. And I'm learning that's not the case. I'm learning, and it's crazy because I feel like every three or six months I get in front of a camera and I go, I'm, I'm learning how to relove myself. But it's the truth, right? I, I really, I was working on myself a lot last year to get to a place of comfortability, to be able to speak about a lot of things that I've gone through in my life and challenges that I faced, and I feel like I did that. And I was watching as a lot of my friends were growing as well, and you know, doing the things that were, that was making them happy and going places that made them happy. And it really made me sit and look at myself and wonder, well, what are you doing? How are you advancing? What are you doing to love on yourself? Um, and I decided that I, you know, I'm turning 30 in April and it's time for me to really take hold of my life and like figure it out. And it wasn't in California, it just wasn't. And so that that is a big reason why I packed up and left. And I'm sure my journey will take me back to California. I do believe California is home, but I needed something new. I needed a change and I'm literally starting from ground zero, you know, which is scary, but it's needed sometimes. Sometimes you have to start over in order to find yourself again or find the new version of yourself that you don't know anything about. <clears throat> and that's where I'm at. And so new haircut, honey, new job, new home, new me. Like, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this, right? Like, but we're just gonna have fun, right? Maybe I'll cut it all off. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe it'll grow back really, really long, you know, which it will, cause you know. But yeah, I I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. And so I didn't want it to seem like I gave up on YouTube because I did it. Um, I just I just need time. I need time to figure it out. And my promise is I'm gonna try to put out videos here and there as I can get a more can you know, get a more ongoing schedule and work on it and really take this serious because that's what I wanted to do during the pandemic and I did. I uploaded a lot of videos, I hit a lot of goals and now it's time to just keep pushing and keep going. Um, and so just thank you to the people who have supported me and love me and have seen my journey and understand it and support. That's really just all you can ask for. Um, so yeah, um, until next time, um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.